addition to that, right? Like, it sounds like the rush now has more options. Yeah. But it's not to say, like, the zoner yeah, is, is also lacking in options yeah. in this game as well. Because that, those same tools that he has for verticality, he can also exploit to his advantage, right? Mm -hmm. To take, take the vertical space and do different things that way that a normal zoner probably wouldn't be able to do. Exactly. But here we go, going into game one with uh, Five Mind versus MM Leo, Mega Man versus Falcon here. I like the mini game between with that side B. It's basically a game of tag trying to get it off of you. But MM Leo starting off pretty strong here with the percent buildup, utilizing the, the little beans to try to get some space or some percent into combos. And so far, Five Mind, I like the way he's mixing up his approach. He's utilizing that platform a little bit. But he's kind of getting caught on the ground here uh, by MM Leo. Okay, so something I. Oh, oh the downer calls it out. Falcon does have a very exploitable recovery, so if you can get the down air, especially with Mega Man like that, it's just a, just a big projectile. Ooh, what Ooh. a spike of his own! The knee into the weight. First hit Nair into the stomp. Insane punish from Five. Yeah, he's just like, I was like, all right, all right. You, you got you got yeah. it, you got it, you got it. All right, no, 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 hold on. Here's mine. Yeah, here's mine. You have a good recovery, I don't care. I'll combo into my spike. Yeah. So something I saw that Five Mind was doing earlier was that the first up air, he decided to jump out of it, and that worried me. Because yeah. that is not an option you want to be doing. Ooh you want to be doing against Mega Man's up air. If you got hit by the up air, up air you cannot jump. You jump, like, you're, you're asking to die at a higher percent if you're not ready. Exactly. And so I saw him do the adjustment later on, so he does, he is, a, might possibly be aware, but I just need to make sure that he's only doing that around, like, like lower, for, pre-40%. Mm -hmm. We saw there Five Mind mixing up his recovery. He didn't go for the immediate uppy, utilizing the double jump and the drift from uppy to try to avoid that uh, spike hitbox. Yeah, MM Leo trying to use his, the, the Crasher Bomb to try and cover the ledge there, but charges the forward smash too hard of a command, and MM Leo punishes with the sword you can. Speaking of traditional fighters, oh, stop into Knee not fully connecting, getting the weak hit of Knee, going for an up out of shield, trying to get a punish. No punish from MM Leo, though, stuck on the platform nonetheless. But yeah, Five Mile just kind of going in. He, he really fished for that a little bit too hard, but he's trying, his team needs to end his stock now. He's, and Falcon's got a plethora of options that he's going to want to do that. Like, he's got back air, he's got first hit Nair. And even then, use, uh, and the way MM Leo is using his little up B to get a little bit of height difference is so interesting, right? He's using it as a way to cover himself in, in, in the neutral. And I really like that to see. Oh, getting hit with the side B here, a little game attack. I like that wait from MM Leo, knowing that Five Mai was going to commit to that holding shield, but the nice gentleman's going to be able to take it. Five Mai is keeping this very close. Yeah, his pace has been really strong right here. MM Leo has been, been zoning him out. Oh, but he just goes behind the leaf shield. And this is his chance. Oh, he doesn't oh. get the ledge. He went for that down there. I like it to go for a two frame attempt, but MM Leo kind of getting fortunate there, not snapping the ledge, but here's the upper is up he out immediately. Oh yeah, I like the adjustment that Five Mai has been doing, especially in the neutral, right? Like he's been going in and out and just adjusting appropriately and, and punishing the things that he can be punishing, especially at the ranges, right? MM Leo is just kind of giving him the space to say like, hey, I need, I want to punish. I'm doing my stop here. And then Five Mai is recognizing that I can punish at this range. Oh, I really like that recovery weight and even a little bit of a ledge play. Not only mixing up his um, option off the ledge, but also the timing. And now MM Leo eating triple up air, uh, utilizing that dog, trying to get some space between them. Going for these down airs. Not sure what he wants to convert off of it, but... Oh, he oh. called out the spot dodge there with the force. Matt uses the crash bomb to get it on it. Just covered the ledge. Oh, oh didn't get it. But the ultimate smash, he gets the roll read off the ledge. One more pellet gets the grab here. This is Back a scary throw. situation for MM Leo, though. One hard hit is going to oh, get it. Oh, he went <laughs> for the up smash read. Yeah, he tried to cover the yeah. neutral getup with the up smash so close, but the back air from MM Leo is going to take it. Yeah. Um, I mean, we saw there, like, Five Mai was really, really uh, utilizing all of that movement to try to get in and out of uh, where MM Leo can cover with a character like Mega Man. And you saw that adaptation. You were saying how you didn't want to see him jump out of the up air. Then he started air dodging out of it. He um, understood he can cross up through the leaf shield. So you're seeing like adaptation for Five Mai on the spot. I'm not sure how much Mega Man experience he has, but it looks really good. And I'm I'm excited to see this next game, uh, Five Mai. It, it was so close. It definitely can be a set to win. Yeah, definitely a set to win. Like that that was pretty much a, a last hit situation. Considering how hard Falcon hits with all of his oh, strong yeah. moves, mm -hmm. like any strong setup, and he's just gonna take it. So we're going here for Battlefield. So I think this is an interesting choice because I think he just wants the extra platforms and the smaller states for him to combo harder off of, right? Making sure that his punishes, when he gets it, just hurt a, just a little bit more. <laughs> and MM Leo is going to be able to use this to not only land, but also kind of um, wait and avoid where um, Five Mind is going to be able to punish. Like, there's not going to be a lot of dash of grab opportunities because of the platform. Yeah, and we already see how much, like, the Leaf Shield hasn't been very effective for MM Leo throughout his entire... Oh, the, the 64! The N64! It didn't kill, though. 
Wow, I can't believe he went for that. Yeah, uh, MM Leo just wasn't ready for it. Like, oh, he yeah. just went for it and it worked. A lot of Falcons just pull their combo there, opt for uh, Sage positioning, but he went for the uppy there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that beats out this guy. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's something I learned too, but yeah. See, Lee Shield just hasn't been working out for oh. MM Leo that much. So, and so, uh, Five Mike's just been punishing appropriately. He tries to read it with the down smash on the roll. Doesn't get it. Use, oh. Uses the up B, goes high early. Very good recovery mix up. He wasn't going for an immediate up B after that spike. But mixing it up there. And beautiful tax, uh, platform tech chase with beautiful the Beautiful DI. There. Oh, yeah. MM Leo's DI is insane. Yeah, just like hugs the top of that corner. He actually didn't even hit the top corner. Yeah, he was fine. Like he was, yeah, like he was still in there, but that back air. There's no yeah. saving no, you there. No, no DI can save you at that percent against that Falcon back air. But getting caught off stage against MM Leo could be your demise. Yep. The flame, yep. The flame sword is going to take it, and it's going to be an even uh, match back now. And uh, back air dropping through the platform. MM Leo finding an up smash out of shield to punish that aerial. Um, Five My needs to utilize his movement and platforms to kind of change the way he's getting in. But as you've been saying, Leaf Shield's not been working. But now we see um, the pallet sending into a tech chase, which could be very scary. Yeah, so MM Leo re recognizes that. Okay, Le Leaf Shield's not working. Let's w let's switch up my tools. Let's try the pellet now. Yeah. And the pellets have been working out for him. So he's been getting a little bit more damage, just stray hits here and there Ooh, on the pellet. And getting a little bit, um, making it harder for Five My to come in. But Five My's doing a good job just getting in, you know, with that with those well-timed talking kicks. Yeah, MM Leo utilizing the space well um, with that leaf shield finally seems to work out there using it as a more of an aggressive option to punish Five Mai's aggression. But oh. went for the first hit, Naren to Neve, the weak hitbox, very unfortunate for yeah, him. Yeah, he didn't get he didn't get that strong hitbox that he wanted. Probably wouldn't have killed, but definitely would have caught him into a very strong stage position and off stage, especially off stage for uh, for for MM Leo. Interesting, well, opting for the ledge refresh. There. What a down smash read, missing the timing though. Here's the multi jab sending him off stage. That's so unfortunate. He had the read. He just didn't hold it long enough. He didn't believe. No belief for health for him, but Five Might just sent the offstage from the Flame Blade and the down air once again. That situation is so hard he for went Falcon. Too linear. Yeah, it's too it's so hard for Falcon to recover, especially in that scenario, right? If he doesn't have a he doesn't have a lot of strong recovery options, especially with Mega Man, who having that that projectile on that down air, it's so strong too. Exactly. It's, just, it's such a hard situation for him to, to deal with. Dash attack, I like that up air punishing that aggression from MM Leo. Doesn't have a jump, but landing on the platform safely. No punish from Five Mai. Five Mai, Five Mai needs to make something happen here, or MM Leo's gonna run away with the game. Oh, catches the uh, the metal blade, goes and throws it up. Oh, tries going using, for the up yeah, the up He's trying to, he's just trying to fish for these kill options right now. He needs to, he knows that he needs to end this stop right now. Falcon kick, get, send him off stage. Doesn't get hit by the crash bomb. Oh, what an unfortunate uh, down air angle to send you at and five my has been unable to make anything happen but as i say that fighting an up he's sending him off stage he needs one significant here to get the kill but mm leo is making it really hard for him to find it oh uh, the gentleman tries to catch the neutral get up but not enough in time just one more thing will kill and the down smash but the crash bomb is going to get him out of there oh, leaf shield okay. one more time trying to use the up b yeah just a weird interaction leaf shield beat out stomp there but i like that recovery mix up but That's very very trump. fast ledge trump from MM Leo. Yeah, that lead strong backer is gonna take the set for yeah. MM Leo there. But good showing from five by but at the end they're fishing a little bit too hard for that one kill. Yep.